Hello everyone, as we approach Easter weekend, which is going to be very difficult for us all this year, I'm conscious that our normal way of life has been turned on its head and we've all become, out of absolute necessity, separated and isolated from one another on a face-to-face -face level, so I thought I'd try a vlog rather than a blog today. Easter is a really special time of year that we all look forward to as it brings families together. Sunderland is full of close-knit families and friendly communities and it comes very naturally to people from the city to support each other, to come together and to celebrate significant events like Easter as one. As we approach the bank holiday, therefore, people will have a new appreciation of the freedom and fun that we'd usually be enjoying and the stunning assets that our city boasts. It's so easy to take things for granted and the sense of being restricted and unable to visit and spend time with loved ones is one that I know many people, myself and family included, will be finding tough. Remember though, we are all in this together, feeling the same things, and adjusting to a strange new way of life that nobody expected we'd have to endure. I know that for a lot of people in the city, Easter would normally provide a very welcome opportunity to spend time with their nearest and dearest, as well as their extended family and friends. The cruelty of coronavirus is the way in which it separates families, the way it makes it impossible for us to be close to the ones we love the most. But that cruelty is tenfold for the families who lose loved ones and who cannot say goodbye or give their lost family member the funeral they deserve. We must not lose sight of how grave the virus is and take the decision to surrender this Easter in order to have many more with those we love the most in the future. We must keep separated from each other. I know it's tough everyone, it really is, but it is what we have to do. So my message is very simple and very clear. Please stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. I know by and large People in the city are sticking to the law and observing the rules of this lockdown and I am hugely grateful for that. Your acts of selflessness in saving lives and that you can be proud of and when this is over and everybody has a clear conscience that you did the right thing, that is the point of us getting forward as a city and, and dealing with this collectively. It is ensuring that our amazing NHS is able to cope with the pressure it is under and it is protecting other residents in the city who could contact contract the virus and be unable to beat it. I know it's tough, especially when for many it's a very important and special time of year, but the sacrifice we are all making is genuinely the greatest possible demonstration of our love for our family and not only our family but other people's family and friends who could be harmed if we do not maintain distance. It is hard. It is heartbreaking for our families, for parents who want to see their children, for grandparents who want to give Easter eggs to little ones, for siblings, for friends who are parted. And it won't be the same as the Easter's we have enjoyed in the past. But let's make sure that we give people the gift of more Easter's with their loved ones in the future by staying at home, stopping this dreadful virus in its tracks and saving lives. To those who are able to have a rest the weekend, I wish you a safe and peaceful Easter. And to those who will be working through the weekend, NHS, social care staff, carers, shop staff, key workers, drivers, Anybody and everybody who is working for us during this COVID-19 crisis. From me personally, an enormous thank you because without your ongoing work and support, this COVID-19 crisis would be worse. But everybody else, we will have further and more Easter's. We will get back to sharing them with families. Just remember, stay safe protect the NHS, 
save lives and have as good an Easter as you can, people. Have a lovely time now. Thank you for listening. <laughs>